The man accused of attacking Paul Pelosi appears in court for the first time. Prosecutors call the attack politically motivated, and it's ramped up already sky-high tensions in Washington. Madeline Rivera reports from Washington. David the Pap in a California court for his first public appearance since his arrest last week. He's the 42-year-old suspect accused of breaking into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's home Friday morning and hitting her husband with a hammer. I look forward to representing Mr. DePap to providing a vigorous defense for him. DePap is facing a number of state and federal charges in connection with that attack. If convicted, he could face life in prison on state charges alone. We did seek a criminal protective order um, requiring him to stay away from both Speaker Pelosi as well as Mr. Pelosi. DePap told police he had planned to take the speaker hostage and perhaps break her kneecaps. According to a federal complaint, DePap viewed Nancy as the leader of the pack of lies told by the Democratic Party. House Republican Whip Steve Scalise was shot by a Bernie Sanders supporter back in 2017. He condemned the attack on Mr. Pelosi. Stand up against any kind of violence. That's something I've been hearing loud and clear all around from all ends of the political spectrum as it should be. While many Republicans have denounced the violence, others like Arizona's Republican gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake are facing backlash for appearing to mock the incident. Nancy Pelosi, well, she's got protection when she's in D.C. Apparently her house doesn't have a lot of protection. <laughs> their silence and their jokes are giving people a green light out there. The U.S. Capitol Police says Friday's attack is under review. They're also asking for more resources to help protect lawmakers. In Washington, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.